This is like the fifth time I'm recording this video today because we may struggle. We may struggle. Hey guys welcome to my channel my name is bridget if you are new here hello if you're a returning delegate as always you know your presence is appreciated on this channel welcome back to the delegation squad today's video is going to be the second episode of the series i started like two weeks ago on young adulting today's episode will be about friendships and i wanted you guys to participate in it and actually you this whole video is for you guys made by you guys the ones who participated at least i asked people on my instagram as well as my personal whatsapp or uh, to tell me about their friendship breakup experiences actually let me read the question as it is i asked tell me about your friendship breakup experiences or lessons you've gotten on friendships so far either good or bad so that was the question and people were just supposed to give me their experiences or the lessons they've gotten on friendships and that's specifically what we'll be talking about because I feel like people talk about friendship but they don't talk about how some friendships actually come to an end and how it is normal and there's nothing like weird about it so i'm going to start with the experiences that people you know wrote to me and then i'm going to go into the lessons and then probably also share my own experiences as well let's get started so the first one i'll just read it as it is okay so uh she says we broke up like the friendship breakup we broke up because she felt as though i didn't benefit her life and i was a bad influence but in reality she's the one who made her own bad choices and i wasn't even there when it happened anyway basically i didn't benefit her life but to be honest i was a bit hurt and offended by her comment of course who wouldn't like why but i got over it when i realized that i was not the problem good for you girl just a very odd coping mechanism the person had blaming others but themselves i should say she apologized but mm, didn't feel the need to reach out for that chapter of my life closed and i met more genuine people in my life that don't blame me for their wrongdoing first of all i completely agree with her distancing herself like from this kind of person because I don't get why people find it necessary to blame like other people for their mistakes. Like if something goes wrong in your life, it doesn't necessarily mean someone else had something to do with it. Like you should start by looking inwards at yourself and then now you can look like okay, if it wasn't me who caused the problem, what else could have happened? But blaming other people, like projecting feelings, project Sean, that's what it is. Projecting your feelings on other people is just not right, honestly. Like if you made a mistake, learn to acknowledge it. Like that's what friendship is about. I made a mistake. I'm sorry I did this to you. Well, it's good she later came to apologize, but I would understand why she like distanced herself and I'm happy for her that she got like more genuine people in her life, which is amazing because getting people who are genuine is, is hard. It's hard. So I'll go into the next one, which was a bit long. To be honest it was a bit long it was mixed english and swahili so i'll i don't know i feel like i'll translate it okay i'll shorten it as i go anyway it starts by saying i had this friend of mine and he was my bro buyer like we were tight for like an year and then he continues to say so one day this friend of his got a friend a girlfriend and he introduced now this guy who's talking to me to his girlfriend i think i should name them to make it easier okay i'll name the guy who responded to me i'll give him a name um i'll call him laptop so laptop is the one who's now talking to me and giving me his experience so laptop had a friend and one day his friend decided to introduce laptop to his girlfriend laptops should we call laptop's friend we should also give him a name pen so laptop's friend will call him pen okay so pen introduced laptop to his girlfriend yeah that makes sense and so months passed and he started playing now the girlfriend pen started playing his girlfriend as usual you cover up for your bro i don't know why guys do that like why why do you all cover up for mistakes your friends make especially cheating like why anyway on the other side this girlfriend is telling now laptop how he feels that her man is cheating and she, he felt for her because she was a fine mama according to him so days went by and he was doing the exact same thing and that laptop was covering for him so one day the girl the girlfriend of this guy called laptop she says that she's sure that this guy is playing her so she like found out uh, she's found texts and calls and to do like perfume akinuka some perfume 
she even knew the brand of the perfume like he came smelling girl hiya don't play with a girl's mind don't she will catch you she will catch you let me continue so laptop decided to go and tell his friend that you know what uh umepatikana it's time to play safe and come clean as a channel now this girlfriend because she was for keeps a wifey according to laptop this girl was a keeper he continues to say so mimi uh i went back to the house and i knew this guy like he will come clean and he will stop like playing this girl and like concentrate on her so him he was fine like he did his part and he thought you know what i've sorted the issue this guy will stop playing but then as soon as he got home let me just read it as it is jamali enda kachanga mkia dem oh why do you go telling my bro issues you don't tell me like this guy was trying to help you blame it projecting right here this is an example of projecting so like he got surprised like why is this guy like blaming the girl for telling the issues because now his reasoning was this girl was telling him the issues because he was on who's close to pen and she this girl loves pen a lot and you know she didn't want to lose pen but this guy was apparently blind he didn't want to see there then this whole thing turned to him now pen turned on laptop and he started telling him i saw me dealing with his girl and he doesn't want her anymore i mean now i'm gone bro and then mind you all these things he's telling me through text what the audacity the audacity wow then he comes and tells him ati kama mnapendana tawala 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 we've never like been friends at the end of it Wow, first of all, I'm still in shock. Like why would someone even do that? Like this guy was literally genuinely according to what I've seen, he was genuinely trying to help his friend like get out of trouble. He didn't even tell on him. You know, he went to the guy and was like, "Yo, your girl is like suspecting you. Come clean and tell her what you've been doing." But then no, this whole thing turns against him and I'm like, "Why though? Why? 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 Why?" Like why are people like this? Unajaribu kusaidia but hutaki kusaidia. Let me tell you something. I feel like it's not everything that comes from a point of jealousy. Just because your friend is telling you something about your relationship, it doesn't mean like your friend is jealous of what you have. Genuinely, they probably even like they're trying to help you. Love is blind. And only someone who's like outside your relationship can like help you see the red flags and the things that are going wrong. Should I not go and any way anyway? Like for real. What's the problem? What's up? The sun has gone. So I had to switch locations because it got dark and you guys wouldn't be able to see me. So I'm recording this at like 6 p.m. now. Struggles of being a content creator. So anyway, as I was saying from the previous story of the guy and his friend, in terms of friendships and relationships, don't take every time that your friend tells you something about, you know, a relationship you're having with someone as something that's coming from a point of jealousy, especially if you consider them a true friend. People are looking out for you and you just don't want to see that. Like you see everything that's presented to you as a problem. See kila time mtu anakona wivu like towards you. Like they're just trying to help you. And let me tell you something. People who want to see you prosper would call you out for the stuff that you're doing wrong and they'd be like, "Yo, what you're doing is wrong like the way he was saying his friend like cheating is not right i feel like guys should literally like normalize doing that among themselves be your brother's keeper you know if he's going in the wrong direction tell him don't just watch be like ah at a disorder that's not what friendship is about so anyway i'll go on to the next one the other one i'm reading this from my laptop it says i was lied to by a guy i trust this guy they were friends and actually we were like besties but i am realizing the bebo fala then i tried calling him then he blocked me for months and then juzindo he apologized and then according to her first he lied that he wasn't dating unfortunately she's very good with knowing that it wasn't true and hey i stopped so i stopped one of his followers and i knew there was something fishy girl So Jesse when he came to apologize I told him to tell the whole story because I don't think they were together. The whole point of this like story time from what I'm getting this girl had a friend who was a guy and he lied to her about dating someone. He lied to her that he was dating someone but he wasn't apparently and he later came to apologize for lying to her but I think this girl like didn't accept it so the lot friends so that's how they feel if you're friends with someone why do you have why do you feel the need to like hide who you're dating trust grows out of 
being honest with one another. So when you start lying to one another, like once lies just start dropping in, that friendship is dead. It's it's over. Like if you feel the need to lie to someone about something, you clearly don't clearly don't hold them as an important person in your life. They're not important to you to the point of you being honest with them. Uh, the next experience is I recently stopped being friends with two close friends. I realized it was because I would put their needs before mine or I'd let them take advantage of my kindness. I've come to realize that I have to put myself first, my interests, my health, and practice self-love. Your 20s are supposed to be your selfish years. I agree. I agree to disagree, but I agree. So the whole thing of putting other people's needs first before yours, and then they take advantage of your kindness. These are people we call pests weeds because honestly if someone is being kind to you and nice to you and offering you help and then you take advantage like what is that if someone is genuinely being kind to you you should respect the kindness enough to acknowledge it and not take advantage of it like they don't actually have to help you i agree with what she did by distancing herself from them because once people start taking advantage of you it just shows they're not your friends they clearly don't respect you enough so in terms of friendship breakups, they happen. It's sad, like people will break up over very many things. Sometimes it's not even about something bad. It could literally be just, you guys have been separated. Like you live in different areas now. Like you guys are on different paths in life. So you never like interact at any point in life. So you just go your separate ways and there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's move on to the lessons that you guys had thrown my way. I'll actually be reading them as they are first one i'm going to read is quality over quantity and you're always alone okay on the part of you're always alone i don't know about that but quality over quantity yes it's better to have good friends that are few and you know invest in you and respect you for who you are and have accepted you over a bunch of friends who are many and if something was to happen to you none of them would show up for you your friends are supposed to add value to your life and if they are not adding value then they are clearly not of quality i agree with him quality over quantity the next one is imagine go where you're wanted like yes i agree this person said go where you're wanted End up when you're not stop forcing issues with people. If they didn't invite you to go somewhere, don't ask to go. And I think I was watching this on East Meets West. Hey, East Meets West. And one of them was like, if people like don't ask you to go somewhere with them, don't invite yourself. They clearly, if they wanted you to be a part of their plan, they would have told you about it. Don't feel bad when you see your friends or like people you know hanging out together without you and you didn't know about it. It's okay, imagine. Just because people aren't inviting you somewhere, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. Just It's just that to them, maybe you're not their fit. And it's the same way to you. There are people who don't match you. There are people whose energy you just don't vibe with. And it's okay. Like, there's nothing. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you, imagine. People will usually leave others out when there's something about that person that they don't like. And instead of, like, talking to that person about their habit or behavior, they just feel like it's easier to isolate them from their own group or from their life. And I feel like people should just be better adults. Like, communicate. If I did something to you and you don't like it, come and tell me. Mr. Kuwa, I won't kill you. Come and tell me. Talk to me. So, yeah, I would say go where you're wanted. Because when you start forcing issues with people, you will feel even worse about yourself. Have friends who will appreciate you for who you are. Once you start going where you're wanted, you'll feel the difference in the energy and the vibes people will be giving off to you. The other one I got is your colleagues are not your friends. Well... Personally, I've not had that much experience with like working situation or a workplace. I have had like minimal experience. I had to ask other people who had been working about this one so that they like I would be able to understand this and it made sense. And what they told me is there's a difference between being friendly with people at your workplace and being friends with the people in your workplace. And it's not a must like you become friends with people at your workplace because at the end of the day both of you are there to earn a living if something happened and there was a promotion opportunity and only one person could get it and it was between you and your friend you best believe it best believe it this person will not look aside and be like oh you're my friend i'll let you have this promotion and i'll let you you know earn this higher salary just because you're my friend people won't do that for you <laughs> people are selfish especially if it's in like career wise it doesn't mean you won't make friends at your workplace you will make friends just be careful because some people will throw you under the bus to get what they want 
another thing someone told me is you can't share personal information with people at your workplace because they could literally use that information against you. Being friendly and being friends are two different things. Don't just call anyone your friend. You have to know them on a deeper level. The other one is I learned that a bond formed at a very young age grows stronger as you get older. Yes, this is so true. Not for all of them, but most of them, yes. A lot of my friends who I like grew up with from a young age, even my own best friend at this point, we knew each other from like nursery and we're still friends till date. I know it's crazy. And we're still friends till date. Even most of my family friends, we've grown up together and we are still friends till date. So yeah, I agree with this one. The other one is the older you get, the smaller your circle becomes. Facts. I'm a talk to facts. You know what? I should just end this discussion here with this one. It's true because I feel like we get pickier. The older you get, you get pickier with the kind of people you want to hang around with. It's, it's more about... What value does this person add to my life? If I was to get into trouble, would this person come through for me? The other one is, force friendships don't last. Let the friendship flow. Watch a haraka brother. If you feel like you have to force someone to be your friend, leave it. Take yourself out of the relationship because you're the one who's going to get hurt. The other one is, I've learned some friends are temporary whether we like it or not. But did she lie? But, but has she lied though? Has she lied? It's true. Some friendships are temporary. Some friendships are seasonal. Some friendships... Like, say kila mtu wako komosha, wako kuka. Not everyone is in your life to stay. Personally, when I was in high school, I was in a clique. Let me call it that. I was in a clique of like six. We were six. And out of the six, I only talked to two. Till date, I only talked to two. And I'm still very close to two of them. So shout out to you, Leah and Stanley. Some people are just there to boost you to the next level and then once you get there the friendship ends and there's nothing wrong with that it happens the other one is if you feel it's one-sided just get out of there get out of there there's nothing to fix i'm reading it as she wrote it there's nothing to fix just go i agree with her if something becomes one-sided if you're the one who's putting in the effort all the time you're the one who's calling you're the one who's texting you're the one who's listening but when it's your turn no they start complaining they have excuses if something becomes one-sided imagine just remove yourself those are the responses i got from you guys and i agree with most of what you guys had said so i'm going to share some of my lessons and if i have i don't know if i have a friendship breakup experience most of my friendship breakup experiences are like the ones where you guys are not in the same place anymore and not like out of drama or malice or anything we just fell out because we're no longer in the same like area or doing the same thing and have the same interests like anymore so that's my friendship breakup experience so for me my first lesson that i learned your parents can point out your fake friends before you do and it's such a weird thing your parents know who your fake friends are even before you can tell you yourself the other lesson i learned is that it's okay to disagree with your friends and disagreeing with your friends doesn't necessarily mean that you have hate for each other we don't have to agree on everything as friends you and your friend will have different opinions on things at the end of the day you are not brought up in the same home you're not brought up by the same people and disagreeing with your friends doesn't mean you hate them wow first of all can we talk about that some people once they disagree on something with their friends they're no longer friends unless it's like a deal breaker the other lesson i have learned is you acknowledge the mistakes you make you're human at the end of the day no one expects you to be perfect but the least you could do is say you're sorry I'm like i'm sorry i treated you like this and you didn't like it i i apologize and you know life moves on the other thing that i have learned as well is learn to call out your friends on the things that they are doing that are wrong if your friend is for example driving too fast and you're in the car and you're there hyping them up if both of you get into an accident, whose fault is it? You didn't call out your friend for what they were doing, right? Like, you didn't call them out. So if both of you were to get into an accident, whose fault is it? It's both of your fault. And especially you, because you didn't call your friend out for it. You didn't tell your friend, yo, you're driving too fast, slow down. Most of the time when you avoid calling your friends out for things, the consequences are really, really big. The other one I have learned is be careful who you lend money to. First of all, these people... I, I want to have a conversation with the people who you come and borrow money from me, you know, and I help you out of like the bottom of my heart. I'm like, wow, yeah, you're my friend. It's okay. I'll, I'll give you money. But then when it comes to returning it back, first of all, you go silent. You no longer exist. 
not on this planet and i have to look for you to give me my money be careful who you lend money to and it's so unfortunate that this kind of people are the ones who make people selfish with their money and not because at the, i'm actually like selfish it's just because someone did me dirty when i gave them my money and i tried to help them but when it came to when it came to like their turn to return it back relax I wasn't even in that much of a need. Friendships and money is a very delicate line. Money ends friendships for sure. And at the same time, if someone gives you that money, imagine just return. And if you can't return, explain. Wacha kunyamaza, wacha kuassume ata kuelewa ukinyamaza. Explain. Like I know things happen. Sometimes things happen and it's out of our control, but explain to the person. Don't keep quiet. Remember to invest in the friends that you already have because you can't just expect people to invest in you and you're not doing anything for them. You know, it's a two-way street. Remember if someone shows you that you know the position you hold in their life is not as important, don't force issues, just leave. And no this video is not just like for you guys, it's also for me. I'm not saying I'm perfect friend i'm also taking things out of what i'm saying learn to be a good friend to other people just don't expect people to be a good friend to you when you're not a good friend to them be kind to people you don't know what they're going through yeah that's it for this video i will see you in the next one bye